so that works out very well. Um, so those are the sorts of areas that parapsychology looks at. Okay, that's, that's a good answer. It's an interesting answer, yeah, yeah. Um, and of course, you've got to remember that in areas like Wales, we've always only ever, there's always been a belief in the other world. We Celts. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Um, it's always been the big secret in Wales that there's always been a folk belief that's existed below the established. Yeah. Okay. There's a valley of the witches up in the uh, Swansea Valley. My uh, my girlfriend, am I too old to say word lover? Uh, she, her grandmother knew a lot about herbs, and which we've forgotten. Mm. And all these other explanations also exist on a level in a culture like ours here. Okay. Not only in the chapels and the pubs, there's also been the folk beliefs. That's, that's very interesting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So like uh, when you say about the herbs and all, so like um, yeah. which is doctors, that type yeah. of thing, early, early, you say early establishing that type of stuff, yeah. Sometimes I think the psychotherapists like myself are no more than modern witch doctors and they look more responsible. Well, I was, I was dating um, a lady who, um, when she was 14, yes. she exercised her mother. Really? Yes, accidentally. Now, she didn't know what she was doing, but her mother was supposedly possessed by, by some kind of demon. Yes. And she exercised her. Yes. Um, with, with, um, she had no um, way of doing this, but she, but she didn't manage to do it. And she was telling me how, how she's done, she has done Ouija board, she's done the same as a couple of the same says, and she's made contact with the spirit world. And I do believe in the spirit world, I believe that there is another world out there, um, apart from the physical world, where spirits exist. And they go to after they pass on, after the phys their physical body goes on the ground, they pass on to another, another world. And I, I do, I do strongly believe in that as well. There's a lot of research that shows that the growth of the spiritualist phenomenon did a lot um, for the early psychologists like Carl Jung. His PhD uh, was on a, uh, a a seance run by his uh, cousin. Um, sometimes. Sometimes we find phenomena, poltergeist phenomena, occurs around adolescent, adolescents. It's all that raw sexuality that's uh, supposed to be out there. Yeah. Uh, and sometimes um, we have to be clear, very, very clear, that the very best people who, who say they communicate with the other side, um, sometimes are communicating with themselves. Okay. On a okay. conscious level. Yes. But that's one of those points where you have to be really critical. Mm. But yes, there is so much unusual phenomena. But during the 19th century, they used to believe in ectoplasm, which was a substance the medium produced, which the otherworldly visitor used to... Yeah, that's not mm -hmm. Yeah, that doesn't happen. Yeah. Um, so there's all sorts of interesting backgrounds. Uh, and it, it, it's very... Um, you have to be very precise with them. Um, but you can find some really interesting phenomena. Th th there was another series called Afterlife as well, based call. about a psychologist and a medium who cooperated and neither believed in others' world. It's a series, and there was two series about ten years ago. So it's seen it on different levels? On different and levels. One comes from one angle, the other one comes from another angle. And it's an angle that you have to be, um, you have to respect other people's views, because all interpretation is from your perspective. Yes. So the scientist may not see things. The person believing in parapsychology and the, and, the, and the other world may see things that are not there. What we have to do is look where like both fail. And then we get the really interesting And stuff. all these interpretations aren't proven either. Are they? So, no. so, so scientists can't improve, uh, no. pr prove your interpretation no. because it's, it's so sort of, yeah. yeah. I mean, philosophically, we can only prove. I don't know who's really here. I mean, I could be an invention of Ian. You could both be an invention of myself. All we know is that we think our own mind exists. <laughs> yes. I mean, and we look at things like the Matrix. The film yeah, yeah, I was going to say that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How do we trust our? Can we trust our senses? Uh, yeah, that's very true. I mean, at the end, we could just be. There were cases where people have synesthesia, where they can they, they smell colours, and it's all perception. But just because it's perception doesn't mean it's not true. It's how do we explain it? And what you lot are doing are filling a savage 
spiritual thirst that people have or understanding of why odd things happen that has broken down. The internet has transformed yes. these things. Who could have imagined the internet? That's a black swan. Well, exactly where when you look at this stuff. It just happened, you know. Yes, yeah. You know? And those sorts of things. So you can reach out. You don't have to look at a book. No. You can reach other people like yourself. The nature of consciousness has changed. You know? Definitely, yeah, yeah. And this is why it's all very, very important what you're doing. Okay. People will tell you you're wrong. You've probably had a few people tell you that oh, you've been messing with the devil. A few people have or... said, oh, ghosts, and you, you know, I don't believe in all that, you know, and, you know, it's, 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 it's a load of rubbish. It's, you know. But you can simply ask them a question. That's, How yeah. can they prove that atoms exist? I think it's the same. Have I read it in the book? Yes. Yeah. How do you know this exists? I've read it in the book. Yeah? Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, the, these are things that we, we, we haven't really progressed that far in proving no. things, but we've got better with better technology at noticing things. Yes. When Einstein said that space and time was curved, he realised it was connected. Uh, when um, he didn't know electro electrical energy and magnetic energy was electromagnetic energy, we're finding new patterns. We've just found the Higgs boson particle. Yeah? They, they call it the God particle that okay. binds matter together. Yeah. Um, it's fascinating. We're still groping so it, our way. It makes you wonder as it. well if in the future they will find the vehicle which can travel faster than the speed of light because they'll then time travel will be possible. And Some of the quantum true. physicists would say that we couldn't travel faster than light because that hasn't yet, actually, it hasn't existed. But I've been trying to understand dark matter. 75% of the universe is made of dark matter and dark energy. No, 95% is dark matter and dark energy. That's interesting, isn't it? I mean, there's already vehicles which can travel faster than the speed of sound, which yeah. is something like 750 miles per hour. Yeah, right. and, and, and so, why, why not the light speed of light? And perhaps our emotions coat wounds with energy. Prince energy. Imprint energy. Uh, you know, you always know when you go into a room and someone's been arguing. Yeah. Because there's um, that you an aura, an aura, an atmosphere. Yes. Yeah. Well, you're in a room and somebody's looking at you. And you look around and you know they're looking at you. How do you know that? So it's, it's a feeling. It's, it's a, a feeling. It's a sense. Yeah. So there are obviously feelings oh, you're that we can't. Precisely. So there are obviously feelings we can't totally explain. No. We can't explain why they happen. The issue is not explaining. The issue is observing and suggesting possibilities. Okay. You know? Yeah. And that's what you lot are doing. You're using you're using technology to do that. Yes, yeah. You know, the this, this the, the, the mediums in the nineteenth century would not have read temperature. They no. would not have done things We can. You probably would have just documented it written it down mm -hmm. strange experiences. And if you look at a phenomenon like um, UFOs, um, in the last ten years people have talked twenty years about being abducted by aliens. If you go back six, seven hundred years ago, right, um, people were abducted by the fairies. Were taken to fairies. I've actually read stuff on stuff like this before. Okay. Yeah. And you often hear these cases of guys or women who've wandered along, 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 wandered along lonely lanes, and these spacecrafts come down, and they've met this gorgeous alien who wants to make love to them. Well, that used to happen with the fairies as well, you know. Okay. And the fairies in that Celtic tradition are not little. Girls like Tinkerbell with tutus. No, that's they all are savage yeah. beings yeah. of nature. Yeah. Um, so, a phenomenon that's happened has been explained in different ways over different ages. So, when we look at an event that's happened, we have to say, How would the people of the time have seen it? What are my prejudices that stop me seeing this now? And this is why I cannot be a convinced materialist. I have to say, I don't know. But there are some pretty weird things that. That, that I have known and spotted and come across that for me are interesting, but people might just say, I've got a vivid imagination. But then I have in my own imagination is what makes the world turn, isn't it? Precisely. You know, yes, we're all yeah. different in our own way, spaces, right? I mean, like, as yeah. you said, I mean, I suspect you never knew the founding of the Labour Party, Keir Hardy was a keen spiritual. No, 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 that's surprising. Yeah. It's very interesting, very. Uh, it is, it is interesting, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Um, and all sorts of things. Yeah, Winston Churchill had was supposed to have that ability as well. But it was either I think either Edison or who was the other guy I'm thinking of? Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison. I think it was Thomas Edison. 
Didn't he actually he do it with Prince? He had a phone that he could speak to the other world with, and he's tried to. Did he actually create it? I, I, he I mean, claimed he did. We don't know. Oh, I, don't know I don't know. I don't know enough about Graham it. Bell. Alexander Graham Bell, I beg your pardon. Uh, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. The spirit phone. Yeah, I, I remember they had the blueprints for it, mm. but I've never actually found no physical evidence out there for it to physically exist. Like, um, and, and there are films, I, I, I don't know, I don't know enough about it, and there are films like The Mothman Prophecy, um, where um, people claim they had, they had um, uh, communications with the being. There is also research that suggests that planes and trains that crash mm. have significantly less people on them than normal. Okay. And a friend of mine who is a rational businessman yeah. was due to give a uh, workshop on the Twin Towers on September the 11th. And he felt the day before he shouldn't go. Oh. And he, and he, and he come, come back then to yeah. that sort of like ESP yeah. gut instinct type of thing. If, yeah, if that was his brain telling him not to go, like, yeah. like a sixth sense telling yeah. that this place going to crash. The, the problem that goes sometimes with this sort of work is that sometimes people come up with strange ideas mm. and have conspiracy theories. Yeah. And the more conspiracy theories you have, the more you believe, and your ability to be critical tends to go. And we do. But keep a healthy scepticism, but always keep an interest in the unknown and the inexplicable. Yeah. Definitely. That's what's interesting. This is why you guys are important. Yeah, and I, I believe in karma as well, I believe, that if you do something really bad in your life, that at some point it's going to come back on you. Mm. That old saying, and what goes on comes yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, or if you perhaps realise in the Buddhist sense of that, that you shouldn't have done that, then that's the theory that you break out of common. Okay. Yeah. Like that. So, so if you do something bad and do something good, then it's not bad. You find it. You've kind of yeah. keywords. I mean, a lot of, Tibet, a lot of Tibetan saying. monks at the moment say that children born in the last 20, 30 years were allegedly children were reincarnated Tibetan monks of the Chinese king when they invaded uh, Tibet. Um, some people use strange words like indigo children, words like this. Um, once more, you know, and there's that group of people who believe the world's going to end on December 21st, 2012. Personally, I believe the Mayans thought, like, oh well, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go to 2012 for us about 1400 years in the future. Mm -hmm. We won't bother to do that. We won't bother. Not then, uh, you've got to hold the gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you have to see people that, it's going to ruin your life because you're just thinking, well, the world's going to end. Well, that means what is. The reality is, with somebody, every day the world ends. It depends on how big changes in life. But you have to be, and it's a skepticism, but it's the hope and the knowledge about why things don't necessarily work in particular ways or why they work in 